back to my channel so today i'm gonna do a full day of eating i'm currently in a calorie surplus and um, i'm actually on the last week of this and um, i've been bulking uh, sometimes i don't like to use that word because i feel like people get a bit scared of it but basically building muscle in a muscle building phase um for the last four months now so this is the last week so my calories are a little bit lower than what they have been but they're still a surplus for me so i took my calories right up to 3000 and i've just been slowly working them down the last couple of weeks um as i get ready to move back to maintenance and then be going into a deficit uh, so at the moment i'm eating around 2450 calories and um, so that's about a 250 surplus um so i'll show you what i'm eating so as you've probably seen from the intro every morning i get up and um, i have a pint of water i have some apple cider vinegar in water to promote good good health um, then I have celery juice um, which started around the time of my breast implant illness like I read that it can help you feel better and I was willing to try anything at the time and it's just something that I've continued and um, because I wouldn't eat celery normally I don't actually like it I still have to pin my nose to have it but I know it's really good for you it's full of lots of goodness and I always think in my mind if I start the day with getting like some greens in and some vegetables then I just feel better about it <laughs> Again, it's not something you have to do, it's just something that I choose to do. Uh, then I also have electrolytes in water to rehydrate as we lose um, obviously a lot of water we're not able to drink through the night. And then normally when I'm at work, I'm actually off uh, this morning off the gym floor. Um, but every morning I have a green shake. Uh, so a greens powder with some matcha, uh, coconut milk and water. I sometimes put a bit of sweetener in, but the greens powder itself um, is mango flavour. Uh, so I have this, I'll have this like during work normally and then on a morning when I'm off I'll just have it. But this morning I've decided I want to make a smoothie with it and add some actual mango and I've got some passion fruit as well. So I'm going to use this um, that I've already created. That's what's in it. Coconut milk, matcha, greens powder and a bit of water. And then I'm going to add, I'm actually going to add some protein powder, some vanilla flavour, um, some frozen mango and some passion fruit. this now and then I'll also have a squares bar and uh, this is a cookies and cream flavor that's all the hard when I went food shopping last week uh, but I know we just get the plain one um, and then I'll also just have a black coffee which I have here to have these and then go do my workout I'm doing legs and legs I'm just doing legs <laughs> I'm doing quads and hammies as well <laughs> I was meant to say I'm just doing legs um, I do a little bit of abs after, to be fair, on a Wednesday as well. So, yeah, this is my little pre-workout. And I also have clear whey protein and cyclic dextrin. I can never pronounce that right. Uh, carbohydrates, uh, basically carb in a powder. Uh, during my workout, just for extra energy, I just like a bit of flavour. So I use them both from PhD. Um, and the clear whey flavour that I use is the strawberry daiquiri, I just love strawberry flavoured stuff, um, it's really nice and obviously not clumpy, it's went nice and clear, I do make it the night before um, just to give the powder time to settle but this is what I have during my workout, I only have about half a scoop of protein, about 10-12 grams, not very much, it's just something for an extra bit of flavour. 
So I've just got back from the gym. I wasn't feeling very motivated this morning, but got it done anyway. I'm gonna make myself pancakes for breakfast. I use this packet mix from Protein World. Um, it's one of the best ones I've found that goes quite fluffy. And then I've got this really good um, pancake pan, which I feel is a big game changer, so I want to share it. It's literally just off Amazon. Um, I think it was only like 10, 15 pound. It wasn't too much anyway, but it's really, really good. Um, I can link it below. I was just trying to see if it had a brand on. I think it does, but I can link it below anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make these and then I'll show you the finished product. is the finished product, a bit like a leaning tower of pizza pancakes. I tried to make the presentation nice, but it's basically pancakes. Um, I put Nutella spread between each one, then I just sort of weigh that out, obviously with the plate on, um, my weighing scales, and um, the banana, and then just some honey drizzled on top. But I think pancakes are great. I like oats, you can just put any kind of toppings on. You'd even have them savory, so yeah. So I've just finished a big chunk of work that I had to do for a day and I'm going to make, I suppose it's lunch really, yeah, lunch, dinner, depending on where you're from, I would say dinner, because I'm from up north. Um, so yeah, going to have some dinner, um, I'm going to have a bagel, that's actually just defrosting in the microwave right now, um, when I buy things like bagels and bread, um, I just keep them in the freezer then they last a bit longer like obviously with them going off so fast also if I get these wholemeal bagels I can never get them so I get two packs anyway <laughs> so always keep them in the freezer um, and then I'm going to have some Philadelphia on top uh, cucumber and then I'm going to fry two eggs as well and um, have a bit of balsamic glaze and chilli on top so let's get cooking I just put my bagels in the microwave on defrost for like two minutes. I'm gonna slice it in half 
and then I just put it under the grill because I don't have a toaster. Um, so yeah, that's all. So whilst that's under the grill, I'm gonna chop my cucumber, fry my eggs, um, and then everything should be ready on time. I hope, I just wing this sort of stuff. <laughs> I mean, I try to make my food look nice. I don't know. <laughs> it tastes nice anyway. Um, and then I also have a glow tea by Twinings with this really nice like strawberry and kiwi flavour. And then some water, which I also drink throughout the day. I drink about uh, two or three liters a day. And um, also, meant to say this morning, I had a green tea with my pancakes. I forgot to mention that one, so I'll mention it now. So I've just got back from a really big walk with Wesley and I'm going to have a little snack. So I've got a PhD white chocolate blondie smart bar. Um, these are probably my favourite um, protein bars. I'd go as far as to say that. I absolutely love white chocolate. And then I've just got a peppermint tea um, with some white chocolate flavour drops in. Very nice. Don't look until you've tried it. And then some more water. So I'm just finishing up my work for a day. Um, I'm gonna lie on my spike mat. Then my little acup I can't ever say that acupuncture mat. Um, then have a shower, get my PJs on. Then I'm gonna make my tea or dinner again, depending on where you're from. <laughs> um, just wanted to say um, about you know eating in a surplus and gaining weight. There's such a big stigma around it and. I feel like in the media over the years we've kind of been programmed to always like as women lose weight and be as slim as possible and it's just not sustainable long term there's absolutely nothing wrong if you've got um if you've got a goal sorry to lose weight and you want to be lean that's fine but you can't stay lean in and in a deficit all year round it's just not healthy like a deficit is essentially starving your body so to do that long term um, can be really damaging um, also your body will metabolically adapt when you've been in a deficit for a long time so you'll stop seeing progress if you've been in that deficit for a long time and then you'll have to take your calories even lower which again is very dangerous and not good and won't be sort of a sufficient enough um, or amount for your body um, so having time either at maintenance or in a surplus can really help um, 
sort of like a boost your metabolism so to speak and help you for your next dieting phase and you can then potentially diet on higher calories which I've noticed um over doing like dieting phases and um, being at maintenance and being in a surplus um I just kind of say how I'm feeling at the time um, but I'd normally do like a bit of a surplus stint then I'll do a, a cut down from there and then I'll sit at maintenance for a while and just kind of chill for a bit like it's nice to have a goal but then when you've been working towards certain goals for a certain period of time it is then nice to have that break and a bit more freedom and not having to think about something to work towards so that's kind of just how I do it it doesn't mean that's how you have to do it um it can be very nerve-wracking eating a lot more and it's something that I really struggled with at the start and took a long time to overcome and even sometimes now when I'm feeling very very full and bloated um it's difficult to kind of overcome that in your mind um I have to say like I normally try and do my building phases in the winter because uh it's cold I'm wearing baggy clothes like big jumpers and things like that so it's not as noticeable but um for example I was out for my friend's 30th um a couple of weeks ago and I was feeling really conscious because what I wanted to wear was really tight and I was thinking I'm not gonna be able to wear it because I'm gonna be so bloated from all the food I've been eating like thankfully it wasn't too bad but it was something that was playing on my mind but it's very short term and you are obviously going to gain a little bit of fat when you're trying to gain muscle but that is then when you can go into that deficit try and retain as much of that muscle as possible and lose the body fat and then maintain that if that is what you like or you, you would want to do um so it is only temporary but it, it's very beneficial to sort of refuel your body give your body that break and also just have that mental break of trying to you know keep your calories low and overthinking like oh I need to have this to fit in with my calories because obviously when you're in a deficit you have less calories to play with and you've got to think about volume and feeling full um on top of protein and everything else and um, whereas when you're in a surplus you obviously have a bit more freedom to have more food um which is great and again it's just having a bit of like a mental break which really does help and it just sort of helps to reset your body a bit um but yeah just a little but little background on it and um, why I do it why I've been doing it and um, it's definitely beneficial and if you would like any help with it please get in touch and um, but I will um definitely do some more full days of eating um when I'm at maintenance for the next couple of weeks and then I'm going to go down into a deficit it's only going to be a very small deficit so whilst my calories are, will appear low to people <laughs> they no, it will appear high to people sorry they will be very low to me um but it's still a sufficient amount of food and as I say I'm not going into a huge deficit or anything like that um I don't really have a need to for the goal that I've got in mind um I will potentially lower them over time but I can keep posting videos like that if you find them helpful and um, these kind of videos and then when I do posts on Instagram and stuff like that are more just for food inspiration to kind of show you that it's okay to eat this amount of calories and um, not to be scared to eat this amount of calories and um, obviously just like meal inspiration like I know I've seen some meals on people's full day of eating when they've been in a surplus and I've been in a deficit and I'll just use that like have that meal but adapt it to my calories um, and my macros if that makes sense and um, it's just a bit of inspiration and to show you that no foods need to be off limits there's no restrictions like regardless of your goals like yes as I said you might have to make some sort of smarter wiser choices when you're in a deficit because you need that bit more volume to keep you full when you've got less calories to play with and um, doesn't mean to say that you've got to cut things out completely it's not the way it has to be but yeah hopefully this makes sense i'm gonna go and get sorted now and i'll talk you through what i'm having for tea and then i've got a little dessert for after too so i've had a shower taken my makeup off a very fresh face i'm so desperate to put some tan on tomorrow night and um, i wasn't able to do it last week because i had my laser hair appointment so you can't um have any fake tan on so i feel so pale and <laughs> um, tied my hair up ready for bed and had my pjs on but yeah i've got for tea thai green curry and egg fried rice and um, so i actually made this in the slow cooker on sunday for the week so i've prepped it so everything's in a tupperware so really handy and um, for when i'm the days when i'm like in the gym at work obviously i've been working today so i have been pretty busy so it's nice just to not have to faff on cooking loads that's why i kind of sort of prepped a bit more earlier today because i knew i didn't have to do it tonight and um, 
so yeah i'm literally just gonna heat this up really easy peasy and um, if you don't have a slow cooker i'd strongly advise getting one because all i do is chop the ingredients and um, pop them in the slow cooker and then i just cracked on with my day on sunday i went out for a walk with wesley and stuff like that and then it was just ready by the end of the day um nevertheless you can actually just do it in the pan same sort of thing just make it quickly in the pan or even in an oven dish put it in the oven and put it in tupperware put it in the fridge in the freezer and then you've got some meals prepped and ready to go and what i do with that is however many days i'm making it over um i put it into my fitness pal so for example i made it for five days i just divided all the ingredients by five as i input them in so i input it in ready on monday for the first day that i was having it and then I've just copied and pasted all week. You could save it as a meal or a recipe on my fitness pal, and then it's there for future. If you don't have it the same thing all week, if you prepped it and put it in the freezer for a later day, at least you've got it saved there as a meal. Um, but it's just really handy for copy and pasting and like yes it can be a bit boring having the same thing every week, but like I probably won't have Thai green curry for ages now. Like last week I had spaghetti bolognese. Uh, the week before I had pulled chili chicken. All these recipes are on my Instagram actually. Sorry, Wesley's just moved the tripod. <laughs> all these recipes are on my instagram and um, they're from my coaching app um so yeah if you want to check them out please feel free to do so i'll pop the links below but yeah um meal prepping can seem like a faff but when you've got things like slow cooker and you just make them one meal um it can be a lot easier and even if you maybe maybe it's made like two different meals and prep for the week and then you can kind of mix and match with things like the pulled chili chicken and even spaghetti bolognese um you can have like different things you can have rice you could have jacket potato you could have potatoes um lots of different things if you're particular like that i'm pretty happy to have the same thing all week then when it comes to a weekend obviously i'm having a bit more variety um i just find it a lot easier for tracking for copy and paste and it, as i say in my fitness pal um, and then I kind of know what I'm having and maybe if I don't have time to track as such one day I know I'm pretty much having the same food as what I've had like two days prior where I did track so I know I'll be hitting my calories and my macros get my protein and things like that so yeah just a little tip and I'm going to heat this up now and then I'll show you the finished product Voila, ready in a few minutes. Uh, just put it in the microwave for sort of two minutes and then I'll check how hot it is, give it a little stir and put it in for another two minutes and then the rice is a minute. So perfect, sprinkle some sesame seeds on top. I feel like it looks like nothing. And I feel like my food presentation is really bad as much as I try it, but very tasty because I have already had it a few times this week. So I'm going to go and scram this now, then it's dessert time. So I finished my tea and I have a little breather and then I'm finishing up the day with a white chocolate Biscoff ice cream. If you haven't tried one of these yet, please do. Uh, very, very good. And then um, a sleep tea, which I always end the day with. That concludes the end of my what I eat in a day in a calorie surplus. If this video was helpful, you like this video, please like and subscribe. I can certainly do more videos like this in the future and I'll see you on the next one.